Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the first question of exercise 12.1. And the question says the traffic signal bow indicating school ahead is an equilateral triangle with side A. You have to find the area of the sign board using Huron's formula. If its perimeter is 180 cm, what will be the area of the signal bow? Now, you are given a sign board, school ahead written on this, and the sign board is an equilateral triangle. And we know that equilateral triangle, the side of equilateral triangles are equal. So if one side is, is A, so that means all three sides must be A. And the perimeter is given to you as 180 cm and you need to find the area for this bow. And we know that perimeter of any triangle is the sum of all the sides. So this side plus this side plus this side will be the perimeter for this triangle means A plus A plus A will be the perimeter. Peri meter of equilateral triangle is equal to 3a and the perimeter is given to you as 180 centimeters so this should be equal to 3a here the value of a will be equal to 180 upon 3 that means 60 centimeters so here this side of this sign board must be equals to 60 centimeters. <clears throat> now, you have to find the area of this triangle using Heron's formula. And to find the area of a triangle using Heron's formula, we have a formula for that. And the area here, this delta means area. Area is equals to S. Uh, let me write this. Area is equals to S multiplied by s minus a, s minus b and s minus c. Here a, b, c are the sides of the triangle and s is the semi perimeter. Okay, so s is equals to semi perimeter and the complete perimeter for this triangle is 180 centimeter. So obviously semi perimeter will be half of this perimeter that means s will be equals to 90 centimeters so here the semi perimeter is 90 centimeter and the three sides a b c are 60 centimeter 60 centimeter 60 centimeter each so to find the area of this triangle you have to substitute the values right away so the value of S is 90, now the value of S is 90 minus A is 60, similarly this will be 90 minus 60 and this will be 90 minus 60. Further solving this, this will be 90 multiplied by 30 multiplied by 30 multiplied by 30. Now you have to find the under root for this value and we know that to find the under root of this value first of all we have to factorize it and then we have to make a pair of two numbers and then we have to take one number as common so instead of factorizing this completely what i'm what i'm going to do is i'm writing this 90 as 3 into 30 and the remaining number I am writing it as it is because by this I can make the pair of 30 directly and taking 130 as common and from here again taking 30 as common so inside the root only 3 will be there so the area here will be equals to 900 root 3 so uh, centimeter square so this will be the area for this first question 
I hope you have understood how to solve this one. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.